This exhibition accompanies a series of seven films, uh, recorded interviews with distinguished Scottish women artists, aged from 67 to 87. Um, these are the grand dams of Scottish painting, uh, artists who I showed at my 369 gallery in Edinburgh in the 19, late 70s and 1980s. Um, this exhibition accompanies a series of films and there are two pictures by each of the seven artists. Uh, in order of, let us not say age, but in order of distinguished years, uh, Carol Gibbons, head of BC, uh, which is on one more very large head, is the oldest artist. Uh, also, there's a marvellous pastel portrait by her in the corridor. Next comes Rhys Hansen, who has done this very uh, large picture, which we've used as the poster. And this is, shows her head, a portrait head, as a marble bust on a plinth, because as a child at public school, she was very disconcerted that in the corridors of her public school, there were pedestals with marble busts on them, all men. She wanted to uh, rectify this and shows us striding out holding a paintbrush in her hand. Then we have Sheila Mullen, whose work is behind me, uh, who is nearly 80, in her 80th year, and lives in the wilds of Dumfrieshire, uh, paints landscapes, biblical studies, and this painting and others based on Scottish 20th century poetry. Uh, then we have Margaret Hunter, who lives in Berlin now since 1986. Her painting is about the first person to cross the Berlin Wall, who unfortunately a, a young man of 18 shot. So it's almost like a Christian martyr image. He was left there to die on the wall, to be viewed by them, a very elegiac picture. Then we have a marvellous painting called Holding Back the Tide by June Redfern whose partner of 40 years died of cancer this year. And the painting expresses the kind of impossibility of one fighting that said that of trying to hold back a tide that cannot be held back. A, a, I think a very moving picture. We move on to Joyce Cairns, the first woman president of Royal Scottish Academy. Her painting is in the entrance, the lovely red picture, which looks very um, fun, but in fact tells a story in the Second World War, when people were advised if they were evacuating their children to evacuate the pets with them, otherwise they had to be put down humanely. And indeed, 400,000 cats and dogs were put down humanely in the Second World War. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, Fiona Carlyle, uh, who now lives in Greece half the time, and her work is vibrant Mediterranean colour palette. There's a lovely picture of herself and the painter Cameron McNairn in her garden uh, in Crete. And also there's a portrait of me that she did in 1980, which, which welcomes you into the exhibition. And also speaking of Cameron McNairn, we also have a number of pictures by artists who, of course, who were friends and who I dealt with, but sadly are now dead. Uh, um, most importantly, Caroline McNairn, who has exhibited here often, uh, who sadly died 10 years ago. And this painting, uh, she painted in Moscow because she was one of the first artists to be allowed to paint in Moscow during the Soviet times in the 1980s. And the first artist whose work was bought by the Pushkin Museum since the revolution. Also, we have a marvellous picture by Pat Duthwaite of uh, the goddess Pacify, a harpy-like creature. And also, at uh, early pictures, we have a beautiful little uh, Joan Eardley, who sadly I never knew, uh, of the cart which she used to pull around when she was too ill to carry her painting things, made of old fish boxes and pram wheels. And that was made by Lil Nielsen, uh, her partner and lover, whose represented here by a very thickly impasted seascape with bits of fishing net stuck into it, very much in the Joan Eardley manner. And finally, the earliest, one of the earliest pictures is the wonderful Black Madonna, 
by Anne Redpath, the other beginning of the kind of modern Scottish uh, women's artist movement uh, here. So it is a history of Scottish painting really from the 1960s all the way to the present day because the picture behind me was painted by Jules Lomond, was painted only two months ago. So I hope that this helps you understand the exhibition a little bit. So I hope you enjoy.